able to squeak out a victory in the third one, dominated the fourth, and then the switch to Bayonetta from Salem actually kind of just, just kind of just stunned them, I feel like, a little bit, and they kind of got uh, handed. So yeah. we'll see where their heads are for this Losers Finals. This, of course, is not game number one, so you can save your, oh, 1-0, -oh, LOL. I know that's a thing. <laughs> Good times. Good times, man. Shout out to Twitch chat. Love you guys. A <laughs> 1-0. <One -on. laughs> I like to put the laughing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, and getting into our losers finals here, boys. Again, this is going to be the last part of um, Smash 4 action for today. You can definitely come back uh, tomorrow and catch a lot more Smash 4 action. But... Uh, after this, we'll be, we will be getting into Melee. So if you do enjoy some... What the? <laughs> what a, the? What the? Is that a button check? I can't tell. All right, that stock is gone right I'm, now for me, Sam. I'm sure he wishes it was. Maybe he, got, maybe he thought it was still a continuation. I don't know. Yeah. Well, that's, that first stock's already gone. You know, 10 seconds on the clock. That is not how you want to go out. But, again, Sam has been known to live on some stocks pretty long. So even if he got that one taken away... In record time, I, I can see him holding his next two stocks for a good amount of time. Yeah, I feel that. I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna count the man out. No tweaking it. No. <laughs> That's all. Hey, pipe it oh. up. Oh, that was nice. Yeah. And just like that, I mean, that's all it takes. I mean, you got Esam who's able to just kind of weave in and out so quickly, so he can keep that percent at a at a minimum. Give yourself enough time to try and crawl back into this low fatality, losing that stock. Gonna do him any favors, especially with Sam Sora only sitting at 71. Yeah, they, it's looking a little rough right here for the red team uh, at the beginning of this first game. Uh, you know, kind of getting, kind of getting tossed around, especially uh, Fatality. And this is that's always going to be kind of like the weakness uh, of this team is the fact that if Fatality starts getting tossed around, there's not really much you can do about that. Like it's Falcon, and that's just what he does. He eats combos. Yep. You know, good F smash right there, but wasn't enough to take the stock. Great, also great DI from. Um, from Sam Sora there. Whoa! All right, Fatality. All right, I, I get you want to make a highlight reel, but not in the middle of the match that you're losing, brother. Like, <laughs> He's like I need something big. <laughs> that would have been a crazy, a crazy uh, read right there. All right. Four throw. Gets neutral air, but I think that was a weak hit of neutral air, so it doesn't get that full knockback uh, to finish that combo. All right. Okay, so this ain't looking too bad right now. No, I, I, told I was you, just man. about to say this uh, even game, but then I heard a player four defeated and a share stock all in one. And that's and that's and to me that's like for the green team that's got to be scary, right? Okay, we basically get a free stock off of Sam, and he's still and they're still very much so in this game. Yeah. If you're red team, you're just thinking like, well, look what we're doing down a stock to start things out with. Like that is a, a complete confidence nullifier if I'm on the green squad and a booster if I'm on the red. Yeah. Okay, oh, caught woo, the woo. jump as well. That is, not, that's not a real combo. I just want to let y'all know right now, that wasn't real. He caught the jump. Uh, so just a hard read from Fatality. And, the, and I, I'll give you that. Yeah, that was super effective. Uh, two electric uh, electric people on this uh, <laughs> on this here stage. Ooh. All right. So a crazy turnaround. As I said, Esam losing that first stock in record time and was able to hold these next two stocks. For a very long time, the back air is going to seal the deal. And uh, yeah, Sam Sora's like, like, did we really like, just lose? Like, how? Zach. <laughs> I just. <laughs> I need some answers, man. Mm. Zach looking like, I don't got it, man. Shut up and play. He's saying with the, Bring two, it back. With the two stocks, man. Mm. Goes off stage, gives up. Um. You know, gives up the first stock, and he's like, you know, honestly, I don't even need it. I don't even need it, man. I'm testing my power levels. Well, you said, I thought he was playing Lucario the way he just <laughs> had that stock going in, in that first 10 seconds. But I assure you, my friends, that is indeed Pikachu, and the best one on the planet, in fact. Putting on a impressive display despite down a stock in that opening game. So we'll see the response from Captain Zack and Sam Sora, how they fare. Get it? Cause Cause it's a yeah. move in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Two level, big brain, big brain. Anyone can count. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So yeah, uh, that first game, 
uh, again, uh, with East M dropping that stock, uh, that was, you know, it seemed like that was going to be like sealing the deal, but yeah. didn't seem to really matter. And now that he's got all four, all, all of his stocks for this long, uh, pretty even game so far. Oh, okay. Everybody getting a piece of that for there. Yeah. So That's sort of uh, not discriminating. He was like, you know, honestly, it's, it's, it's a decent trade. If he dies, he dies. It's the back throw. Not going to be enough, but still, at least getting uh, a lot of space. I, if he was over there still, he could have potentially punished that. Esam didn't fully snap the ledge right there with that up, up beat. Ooh. Okay. Back throw again. I think he was looking for Zach actually to pick that one up, but Zach kind of had a... Uh, his own business to take care of with a fatality getting comboed up. It's back and forth between. Oh, oh my God, that was so good. Not the 2015. He almost made. It seemed like he was threatening the shield, like he was going to do an aerial on his landing, but he was just like, you know what? As you said, TK 2015, man. Every time, man. All right. Don't get, don't get to see a lot yet. We definitely don't get to see a lot of Raptor Bruce's uh, take stocks uh, as much as we were seeing in 2015 with the run behind Raptor Bruce. But fatality has been known to get up from the ledge and just straight up Raptor Boots. Yep. And I'd be like, dude, that, why did it hit? Like, <laughs> why did it hit? Secrets of being a top level player. Yeah. I dig it. But they are down a stock, so Sam Sora and Captain Zach have responded well thus far. All right. Mentality. Stuck in shield right there. Uh oh, I don't know if he just jumped. I think he might have saved it. No, very smart, looks for a back air again, but gets out space with that uh, up smash. Can't really get too much off of that. Uh-oh. I was like, that jump just got taken, so. Uh -oh. Ooh, okay. Like the attempt. Good, it's great awareness from Nisam. I mean, it didn't connect, but just, again, just shows you the awareness these guys have as doubles competitors. Falcon not hailed for his, his performances in doubles, mm -hmm. but he's making it work right now. I'll say that. Mm. Back throw, forward air. Okay. I like that. And now yeah, he actually got shut off. So this might, uh, I mean, this is definitely doable for Esam, but this is a lot of work that he has to make up right here. Not only does he have to get the stock off of Samsora, uh, he still has to add up enough damage onto Captain Zack as well to uh, threaten that stock. And then, you know, win the one-on-one after that for whoever he has the one-on-one -on -one with. Like, he could take the stock from Samsora too and then just keep doing more damage to Samsora. I think it's the harder way. Actually gets the stock off of Samsora. So, let's go. Right. Oh. oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh, B? No, it actually didn't get high up enough. That's You saw uh, Sam Soros trying to set up for it, though. You know, he's floating around that area waiting for him to get over there so he can up him off the top. All right, we well, see him a little bit of space trying to make this uh, this comeback work. Rip. But, yeah, yeah. that's didn't, the thing, man. Like didn't get off stage, man. The yeah. advantage of the 2v1, you're, you're in that situation where you put a little bit of work on one guy and the other one just comes and just, you know, quick hands. Yeah. yeah. He, he was the one right, right after he uh, hit that back here. Back here, he started drifting back to the ledge. I was like, oh, this is probably not going to <laughs> like, I, th I think he might have wanted to commit to that one. Yep. All right, so game three. It's, it's interesting. They did better with Esam out of stock deficit <laughs> in the first game yeah, rather he, than all three he, he played. He played for played with pride <laughs> that time. You know, he was too lax this time around. That's funny. That is funny. All right. But no laughing matter. We are going to dreamland for game number three. All right. Yeah, man, so Dreamland, you know, obviously Triplat right here. Platform's a little higher up than Battlefield. Uh, glass zone a little, uh, a little smaller. But either way, I'll we'll see who, who's going to be able to benefit from this the most. You know, Bandana definitely benefits from this, but I can see Captain Falcon benefit from this as well, as he does like to do up air chains. Uh, you know, and the light. Oh, I did not, I did not know if he was going to make that drift all the way over there. Captain Falcon with the dunk. Yeah, I've been careful. I mean, he's finding himself all stage, and he's taking a fair amount of damage for it. Yeah. Uh-oh. Might be out. Yep, couldn't get over there in time. I think, yeah, I think ECM could have saved him if he didn't throw out that thunder. Yeah. Because that yeah, just kind of slowed he could him down a little bit. to get over there, yeah. yeah. exactly. But that was a quick turnaround up smash from Fatality, and just like that, we are evened up yet again. ECM with the back air, but actually sending everyone forward, so probably better for Fatality. You know, he's, again, uh, Vitality is down to go off stage, but sometimes I call, cool it down, especially in a matchup like this where you're uh, going to get bested off stage by two different characters. Right. You know, Peach definitely should be able to uh, best Falcon off stage, and Bayonetta uh, will easily best Falcon off stage. Here it is. And yeah, look at that. Out of a jump. Oh, okay, the drift. I like it. Got to be tricky with your recovery, but still, 
Even with the tricky recovery, he has not been able to find a way. Wow, man. Oh, that jump is gone. Yeah, yeah. he is just oh. getting hammered on these attempts to come back. However, ECM cleaning up a little bit. So the difference here being that ECM has been able to maintain three stocks. That's what's kind of keeping this red team uh, still around in this fight. Yeah. Despite the obvious struggles that Vitality is ha having. Okay, Vitality. Yeah, yet again, just being locked away. ECM, though. But uh, ECM definitely got to play protector when it comes down to it. Oh. I almost thought he was going to try to drop a Thunder, but Fatality at 90, it might have taken his stock, so. That's just the, that's the fight of Falcon, man. You just got to get used to playing, start starting your, uh, or, you know, you have to be in the mindset that you're already going to be at 80%. Yep. <laughs> what? Now the Raptor. That is wild that that <laughs> worked out how he wanted it to. Yep. All right, so all the stocks evened up, but that percent definitely favoring the... The green team, because Fatality has just been a bit of a punching bag. So I give him credit. He certainly swung back a few times. Need a haymaker right now. Knockout blow to bring this one back. Yeah. All right. Holding that shield for dear life and then letting Sam Sword just slide on in there. All right, so good good team combo here from the green team as well. To get, add up all that extra damage here on the ESAM. Just barely making it back to the stage. Already at 75. Fatality, man. He's got to make up for a lot of lost time. He's been spending a lot of time not doing his job, basically, which is to get these KOs, you know? Get these follow-ups off of Esam's throws. Or get these knees. Straight up punching bag, man. And honestly, he's definitely not making up for lost time here. Luckily for him, that oh, that uh, neutral air sent him in instead of out. Been another lost stop. Look at him. He's stuck in the corner yet again. Esam doing his best to keep everything... Still within reach, but Captain Zach, 0%. Not going to do yourself any favors, and he's just completely chasing down Fatality. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like their game plan was definitely, I'm going to bully Fatality. Because yep. that's, that's that's exactly what's going on. So Fatality, yeah, he's going to be able to, uh, oh, even on a ball stock, almost losing his stock before ESAM. So, oh, okay, good drift. I have to say, man, Fatality's really good at this recovery, though. He's got that drift down. Just now, I got to figure out how to get this damage on board. Again, that rolling, not getting him any uh, any mileage. It's about the third time he's tried to do that. Oh, good tech. See if he does it again. Stands up. Doesn't roll this time. The oh, back air. No. Okay. I was thinking to myself. Yeah. There's still a chance here if they get a little sloppy. Oh, he tried to get the grab after that, but instead just takes the witch twist and he is going to be out of there. Yeah, that is. You know, usually you can get that jab, jab, grab with Falcon. But she's like, nope. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Ugh. Well, dang. All right. Well, a reversal of a fortune thus far for the green squad. So we'll see if they can put this one away. Are we going back, though? I don't know about that. All right. To Lilat, we go. Uh, yeah, this is this is rough. Definitely, definitely rough right now for uh, the red team. And it's not even really rough for the red team fully. It's just rough for Vitality. Yeah. It's like I think they've just really figured out the the strategy here is just you know why even take three stocks from both competitors when we just force the one who we're slapping up to borrow a stock. Genius. Actually, genius. That's my genius. Hundred IQ, baby. Ooh, we sound. Be careful now. Green team completely running this stage. Oh my lord, Fatality running out of time. That stock is done for. All right, I mean, I just, I think that's just kind of like the downfall of Falcon too. At some point in time, you just run out of mix-ups. Like that are like, uh, you know, I, I won't say like safe mix-ups, but that are you know, practical mix-ups. And he's beginning to wait with some Raptor boosts and usually, you know, people get blown up for that. But if it's been working, that's great. But that's about the, the most difference that we've seen of him uh, as far as him being able to play Falcon in this game. Wow. Off stage yet again. Look at him. The problem is he gets hit once and it turns into like 10 big hits before you know it. He's over 100%. And then somehow just finds himself getting tossed off the stage. And, you know, that's a very linear recovery that Falcon has there. It's, it's not, you know, and Fatality to what? his credit. He does it so well, but I mean, it don't it doesn't help you when your teammates against you too. He said that fair. But no, like to be real though, like if in Fatality's position, 
like his first option should have been to recover, but you, we know Fatality. Exactly. So that was like a misstep for both uh, players. East Ham forgetting who he's playing against, and Fatality for even going for it in the first place. Yeah, he swings first and asks questions later, man. Yeah. That is the, the plight of Falcon. All right. Because I, I feel like East, East Ham definitely would have hit that forward air and finished off that stock as well, but, you know, and, and made it back to stage. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Like, what can you, what can you say, man? Yeah. It's over. Okay. Back throw, yep. All right, back on stage. East Ham down uh, at 101%, but so look at Fatality again. Super high up. That stock definitely probably going to be borrowed if uh, East Ham doesn't lose it first. And it's looking like Fatality... Uh, it's on the way. Oh, wait. Mm. He said D.I. that uh, wrong on purpose so he can keep it stock. Uh, no. I, was, I was actually <laughs> low-key thinking, like, all right, well, I already know this fool ain't going to ask me, so I'm going to just go ahead and just. Yeah, he's, I'm going to go ahead and take that. I'm going to take this. Make it, like, make it like it was an accident, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Now I ain't got to worry about it, so I'm just going to play. <laughs> I just. Oh, no. <laughs> he was like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. You know, actually, I think I want to play three stocks this time. <laughs> uh oh. Woo, boy. Would have been a lot of damage. It would have. Either way, Esam. Uh, well, I mean, he got a stock off. He's got one so far, one of four. This would be a crazy comeback if he was able to do this. But these are two characters with really good recovery, so it's not like he's going to be able to exploit them like that. Um, and maybe an ultimate. Maybe those down there spikes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. Back up again. Oh, tries to go for the grab, Pikachu. Abysmal grab range. Yep. Pretty trash. Let's go Pikachu. But I assure you guys, that's only a title on the Switch. This oh, game's yeah. over. All right. I mean, he's still, I mean, he's still putting up a good fight, though. I give him that. Yep. yep. Yeah, All right, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and seal it. That was good. A uh, good little conversion from the green team, a.k.a. Uh, Samsora and Captain Zack. We'll be moving on again. Fatality was just – that was a – yeah, that was a leave Brittany alone moment right there, man. Homeboy was <laughs> – homeboy was